What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is Prison Food Revealed. They really eat that, so I'm assuming it's pretty horrible. Yeah, from the title it just sounds like it's going to be gross. Yeah, I mean the common um, conception, I guess, is going to be that it's going to be horrible anyway. Yeah, it's, yeah. At the end of the day, it is low budget food, food isn't it? Yeah, you don't think of like restaurant meals, do you? Yeah, you don't think of five star gourmet no. meal or something like that, do you? Um, I wonder if it's going to be as bad as what you see in the movies. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to like have food that's like mouldy and like out of date. Or, I, don't, like... I, I doubt it'll be mouldy right I don't know if they'll date. be allowed to do that. Yeah, I feel like that's against human rights potentially. Yeah, but I don't well, know. I don't know. I imagine it's pretty like, small and basic. Yeah, this is by the Prison Insider. Uh, the link to his channel will be in the description below. We've reacted to him before, yeah. haven't we? Uh, really enjoyed his video. So he's got a bit of an experience from it. And now we do know this is federal prison, not state prison. Yeah. You guys let us know in the comments that state prison is a lot worse. So he kind of potentially went here for fraud or something like that. We don't actually know what he did, do it? No, but that's um, like something the level that you'd go. Yeah, the level or maybe drug and something like that mm -hmm. is where you'd go to a federal state is more for the murderers and stuff like that yeah. so potentially there may be a difference maybe yeah maybe so no like how bad this food is it may be even worse at a state prison so mm -hmm. let's get straight into it and find out by the way guys we've got a p.o box we've just set it up haven't we so if you guys for people who's asking P.O. Box uh, will be in the description, you absolute legends. If you haven't been asking, then just carry on with the video. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Prison food revealed. What do they really eat? Prison food. This is Brandon at federalprisoninsider.com. Today we're going to talk about prison food. I've got a story about some prison food that is so scandalous I wouldn't even feed it to my dog. <laughs> I got 60 months in prison for flying marijuana around the country as a commercial pilot. During okay. okay, there you go. He, he didn't tell us that last time, did he? No, okay. Okay, so he got it pretty much being um, a drug mall, but he was the actual pilot. Wow. Commercial so, pilot, yeah. Fair, like, fair play to him. That's a very difficult job to achieve. Yeah, I wonder if he's like allowed to be that anymore. Yeah, I, I'm assuming not. Yeah. I, I feel like if you've got a charge which has meant you go to prison, I doubt you'd be able to... To go even, back to that job, even if you come out yeah, yeah like even, even if it was not to do that even if it was shoplifting i imagine you wouldn't hard. be allowed because you're flying 400 500 people at a time around on a prison charge no matter how many it was True, yeah. or what it were so let us know in the comments but i, I highly doubt we'll be able to go yeah. back into it but now we know there you now go we, know. we did say that it was something to do that yeah during my time in prison, I learned ways to stay safe, and I cut my time in half. That's exactly what I teach on this channel, so subscribe now for updates. There's a national menu for prison food, a standard for what's supposed to be served Monday through Friday, so the easiest way to do this is just take you through seven days of the week, what food's good, what is just scandalous, and what the inmates do to prepare. Let's knock breakfast out of the way because that's a pretty standard meal. It stays the same seven days a week. It's generally watery, plain grits. Sometimes it's eggs that they pour out of a can and scramble, and then there's cereal on the side and coffee. What is grits? It looks like a porridge sort of thing. Yeah, and I, I have said what is grits, but I do remember a while ago, I think it was on a video, that like, grits is actually yeah. quite nice, but if it's not really watered down, you know yeah, I mean? if it's like done properly, this probably boils down so they can get as much out of it as they can to spread it out, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah, yeah. try to, to be, be as fair, cheap as possible. If you're on a diet, that looks like a all right breakfast. <sighs> the fruit does look a bit manky, doesn't it? I suppose it looks it's like different the fruit after. you get out of the tins. Yeah, it's definitely been in there Which, a no long offense, time, I really hasn't like. it? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> but them grapes do not look like healthy grapes, no, do they? No, they don't. They're but cereal again, but I imagine that cereal is that cheese? probably pretty bland. Yeah, um, or margarine. Why would you want just three blocks of butter? Um, well, you haven't got any toast, have you? Maybe I'm going to put it in your grits. Yeah, maybe margarine goes with grits. That is no. Or the biscuits. Um, there's no bread on there, is there? Where, where's That's the biscuits? Bis those biscuits, the one biscuit and one and a half. Oh, okay, yeah, got biscuits, it. Remember? On top of it. Yeah, maybe then. But it's in the grits, so it, it kind of threw or me off. Or you just eat that. I don't know. If you've ever tried this, let the us know the best looks combo. Fine. <laughs> yeah, but again, we don't know how long it's been left open, do you? No, so it could be like really yeah. soft and horrible. That's that's horrible. The, the juice doesn't look great either. And it, it does say actually, it does say one cup of 2% milk. So it's not all the pudding. So I was going to say, if I put it, everyone's in, and then you go and get it, it could be super, super soggy by the mm. time. But if you get given a cup, it's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> I yeah. I've never you might not want milk, mind you, so. Yeah, you may not want it, and I've never dissected a breakfast so much in my life. Yeah, I've never had a breakfast under like that. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I still have full English. I am surprised they get coffee. Um, I'd have thought what, that... instead of water? Yeah, but I just... 
I would have felt like that's not a luxury, but it's... It, oh, do you get what I mean? Like, it's not... Yeah, I get what you mean, but I thought you were going to go down the route a hot drink, you don't want to throw it on people or something like that. True, and is that like an, that looks like it's an actual cup as well? Like that's... An actual cup, but again, we've got to remember, he is federal talking about prison, federal so prison, not like... state. So okay. a lot less violence going on and stuff like that here. Yeah. So it makes sense. We get a bit more potential luxury. If you've ever been to a state, let us know how different the breakfasts are. Let us know how different all the meals are. Because I imagine it's potentially a lot worse than this. Mm. You know what I mean? It's eggs that they pour out of a can and scramble. And then there's cereal on the side and coffee. I generally skipped breakfast because there was little to no nutritional value in it. And I chose to intermittent fast instead. Breakfast daily is at 7, lunch is at 11 a.m., and dinner's about 5. Now let's start on Monday. Monday for lunch is beef tacos, and beef tacos you can uh, consider the, nice. the hard yeah. shell at Taco Bell with that beef in there. That's similar. The one big difference I see there is the cheese is fake cheese. You're not getting real dairy. You're getting some sort of synthetic mixture of cheese. It's kind of weird. These tacos are okay. Generally, people will eat them for the lunch meal. Monday for dinner is vegetable soup. It's generally some sort of canned vegetables. Oh, you can picture. that looks rough. Oh, yeah. I think I'd just starve in I'd prison. I'd eat the tacos. I'd eat the tacos. I'd eat the bread here. That's but... right, I'd eat. Oh, that, that man. Plate, I'd eat the bread. Yeah. That looks like <laughs> something that... I don't even want to say it. It looks gross. Oh, man. Yeah, it's it good... looks like something that you... Like, you know, that like it comes out of a tin for your dog. Yeah. It's a good job we're never going to commit crimes, isn't it? <laughs> that just made me even more sure that I'm never. <laughs> but that's what it's for, isn't texture it? It's, and that, it's not meant to be nice. It? Yeah. It's meant to make you not want to come back and not come into a good experience. I guess, yeah. People are pounding this just because it has the semblance of some sort of nutritional value. Doesn't taste that good, but it's worth eating dinner on Mondays. I want to make sure you get as much time off as possible. If you check the show notes, I hooked you up with a free 13 point checklist of all the different ways that you can get time off before and after prison. So check out that free checklist I put in the show notes for you. Tuesday for lunch is a chicken patty sandwich. Now this comes okay. on a bun. Generally what people end up doing here is getting rid of the bun, just eating that chicken patty, but it's not a big enough meal to really get people by. So what people are doing is going back to their locker and supplementing with maybe a peanut butter sandwich. Tuesday for dinner is meatloaf and mashed potatoes. The meatloaf is decent. You don't know what's in it, but it tastes good. People are putting sriracha on there, hiding decent some of the flavor, apartment. and this is a meal. Yeah, but you don't know what's also. in it. So yeah. it literally could be the cheapest, crappiest meat they've ever found. It could be, and but chucked it in. If you don't have the choice, you'll eat it, won't you? No. <laughs> yeah, don't do a crime. <laughs> I will not eat that. So Wednesday's far, I'm, I've died hamburger. of day two. No, you'd have breakfast. You said you'd have breakfast. So no, you might last one more day. Maybe. <laughs> and fries. People love hamburger day. That's what oh, it's all about. Oh, I eat fries. Waiting for Wednesday to come around for that hamburger. It's not good. It's about the quality of a fast food burger, probably that's Which a little bit good. older than more stale <laughs> than most fast food burgers. Uh, a single cheeseburger. And then those fries are pretty decent because they're just being frozen and then fried. And so those are pretty tasty fries. So that's what people get excited about. Wednesday night is pasta. So depending on how good the chef in the kitchen is, that inmate has a lot of control Ooh, over how good that pasta is. I think you'd like that. I'd eat that. You definitely like would, lasagna. wouldn't you? It is a bit depressing that you just have two slices of bread up there. <laughs> that's just so depressing, yeah, I don't even eat it? bread with it anyway, so that's just extra um, for me. Yeah, just extra. You'd, you'd yeah. eat the veg. You'd eat that. There that, you go. Is that like... Biscuit I mean, that's like a biscuit, like a custard cream or something like that. I'd survive. Like. I'd survive. A okay. nice little... Could. Do you guys know what custard creams are? Do you reckon... Do you reckon that's just a British I reckon thing? they call it something else. It's like custard biscuits cream. with like cream in the middle. Ah, kind of biscuits. So they're all cookies. It's like an Oreo. So they're cookies. Yeah, but it's not an Oreo. It's like an yeah, Oreo kind of idea. White biscuit on top and bottom and then basically yeah. a creamy kind of custard thing mm. in the middle. I don't really let, like that. Let us know if you've ever had a custard cream. I do like I like them. It can be anything from just noodles with marinara poured over it to some sort of nicely flavored pasta. So that kind of depends on the kitchen chef whether this meal gets eaten or not. Most of the time I was skipping. Thursday was baked chicken and baked sweet potatoes. This was my favorite day because it felt like a day that I was actually getting a lunch. It's that a proper, nutri- it actually looks like a proper meal this time. Yeah, but... That chicken looks very... It doesn't look appetizing. It all looks so dry. Very dry, not very appetizing, but... I feel like you'd be happy with this because it's a bit of chicken, it's a bit of potato, bit of, bit of veg, happy days. Maybe not the best. Is that like a bad attempt at gravy on the top of the chicken? Or like slimy chicken? It's either sli- I think it might be gravy, you know, which is even better. I no, think it is I gravy. I prefer the gravy on my veg. Yeah, but it's dripping over. You can see it dripping on the carrots a little bit, so I'm sure you could dip your veg in. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> don't like the dinner we had yesterday. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I had some nutrients in it. So that baked chicken is pretty tasty. They're doing good there. That baked sweet potato was healthy and tasty as well. So this was a meal that I never missed. Nice. Thursday night for surprised. dinner, black bean soup. This is on par with that vegetable soup. Pretty flavorless. People so kind of eating so it because glad it does that have some healthy dinner benefit. Was the lunchtime. The least you know you're eating that day. Yeah, you've eaten fully that day. That you can, ain't eating that, that black bean. That can be a pass. That's gone. <laughs> so they're trying to supplement some food from their locker generally that evening when they get back to their commissary items. Friday lunch, baked breaded fish. Now, this one I used to eat Ooh. when I first got down. I was down Looks for about so six months. I was eating this. It's pretty tasty. You can cover up the flavor with massive amounts of tartar sauce and sriracha, which is a common plan is take your sriracha with you to the... Uh, chow hall because if something doesn't taste so tasty you get that sriracha on there and you kind of just taste the sriracha now mm, this fish okay. i was eating for a long time and there was rumors going around about it being old and i thought you know what i gotta see for myself so i hooked up with one of my boys who worked in the um kitchen who had access to storage and he took me in there and he showed me these boxes and this fish this frozen fish we were eating was from 2006 now we're talking about 2012 six years old past its expiration date, frozen fish. So I went ahead uh, and stopped eating that. And once <laughs> I saw how old and nasty this fish was, uh, I started, uh, I went and tasted it a couple times just to see, and you could definitely taste. This is something is not good about this fish. It's nasty. That's just a subconscious thing though, isn't it? Like as soon as you know it's old yeah, and all like that. When you don't know, like you just. You just eat it. Like, oh, it's like actually quite tasty. Know... You just can't. It just... Yeah, it's in your head. You potentially yeah. tasting stuff which isn't there because it's yeah. in your head as well. But 2006, man, frozen for six years. I can't be good, can I'm it? sure you're not supposed to eat. It's, it's frozen, meant... though, isn't it? So I feel like they can get away, away with it because they have frozen it yeah, probably from the I day. I feel like you're not meant to freeze stuff like that for more than a year. I don't know about it. Let us know in the comments. But it's a bit dodgy. But... They're getting away with it, so maybe you are allowed to do it. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> that is grim, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be eating that. I'm not the biggest fish fan anyway. Never mind. Six-year-old fish. <laughs> um, I did a little bit of research online, and frozen fish that's expired isn't going to make you sick. It's just going to taste gross. So I guess oh, okay. that was kind of the, the thing that the uh, government decided. So they I'm not get. sure where the fish came not from. Get a lot of people guessed that it was left over from a military base, and they just brought the frozen fish over and feed it to the inmates. A lot of time you are eating expired food that's been donated from some other government organization that's not going to use it. And uh, so you do a lot of this food I'm talking about is old and left over. So I know you're probably wondering about this fish thing, but I'm going to tell you, I saw it with my own eyes. I went in and verified and made sure, was like, maybe this could be some confusion. Is this fish really this old? I saw it. It was the truth. I also saw other scandalous stuff. Like when I went down to Lompoc, I used to work at the horticulture department. I had a whole greenhouse ripping, me and the tomato king. And we were pumping out enough lettuce to feed the entire prison system. We worked hard. We packaged up all that greenery and all that organic vegetables. And we took it up to the kitchen and tried to get the officers to put it onto the lunch line. No way. They just threw that stuff away. Every time we tried to get it up there. A couple times we snuck it onto the line and gave people good vegetables. But they were throwing away thousands of pounds worth of fresh organic produce that we tried to give to the prison system because if it's not being served everywhere, they didn't want to take the chance of serving it. Kind of makes sense, but I'm just giving you an idea of what this looks like. So we made Yeah, that's pretty brutal. It makes sense. It, like I was explained, it does make a lot of sense, but it is pretty brutal, isn't it? Like you've got all that food there. You just want to eat it, don't you? Yeah, but like you can kind of see that if they can't do it for everybody, then... Especially as well, like, I know it is lettuce, so I highly doubt you're going to get ill from it. But if you, an inmate given you, you've served it, suddenly as the chef, you've served it to a load of people, and not on government advice, and they all suddenly get ill. Like, it's on yeah. you then, isn't it? And it's kind of like, well, this dodgy lettuce. And it's like, well, you shouldn't have given and them it's that. it's probably not like that prison's right to say what they can and can't eat. It's the government, isn't it? So if the government's probably, probably telling every prison what standard food is to eat yeah then but it's not really it must be hard as an inmate if you've gone to pick it yeah, like, yes i need it? to eat i just eat it it'd be dirty though won't it off the ground if you haven't got access to cleaning it if you're hungry you're hungry make a good point let us know in the comments <laughs> <laughs> they've done a Would little you bit of it? hustling on the side and got people their vegetables who knows but that's a different story
So on days like this fish day, which was basically every Friday and touch that stuff, or on days where something just comes out a little sideways, which happens two or three days a week, what I would do is I'd head back to my locker, I'd eat some mackerel, I'd eat some tuna, I'd make a little rice bowl, something that was a little bit nutritious that would get me by. Friday night dinner, chicken fried rice, uh, you know, hold that term chicken fried rice loosely. It could be just basically white rice with some carrots and peas in it. Who knows, but you're getting some rice. You're going to have to figure yeah. out your own plan for dinner usually this evening. On weekends, they do breakfast for lunch, which is because uh, people aren't waking up at 6 in the morning to go to work, and so a lot of people miss that 7 a.m. call, so they're doing a little bit relaxed breakfast for lunch. Saturday for lunch is scrambled eggs and turkey bacon. This is a passable meal. Wow. A lot of people eat it. And then Saturday for dinner is it's that vegetable soup again. So, day. Yeah, probably. It won't be the scrambled egg we like, but still... It's something, isn't it? Mm. it? It's that remembrance of scrambled egg, yeah. maybe a bit of flavor potentially. I rate it. I rate that one. Mm. I'd eat that one. Most people are looking for ways to eat something out of commissary instead of eating that vegetable soup on Saturday. Also, there's time for people to sit down and spend some time cooking a good meal. Sunday lunch is scrambled eggs and potatoes. People eat this meal. Sunday for dinner is roast beef. They eat this meal as well, but it's only about a slice of roast beef couple slices like maybe bland, that it big, like, so it's not going to get you by. You're going to have to supplement for food out of commissary for Sunday dinner also. Now, outside of the chow hall, inmates are making their own food all the time, and sometimes they make some really impressive stuff. I can tell you that one of my favorite meals by far was some of my Indian friends used to get together and cook this fantastic fish curry. They would get curry out of the kitchen on the side. They had all kinds of ingredients, and then they would add um, mackerel or tuna to it from the commissary and so this meal are and they over allowed rice. to do that or are they doing it behind their backs i can't tell well they're allowed to buy like the tuna and stuff they're, like they're that they're allowed to go in the kitchen and take curry I don't it, it, to... it seems pretty chill but mm. it could do like he knew a guy as well in there who let him yeah. come in again this is a federal one isn't it this so is probably a bit more this isn't murders and stuff like no. i think it's a bit more relaxed a bit more nicer food so just imagine how bad the state one is them going out to work so i imagine it's all about rehabilitating yeah we so really a bit yes so maybe they are allowed in the kitchen to do make things because it's about getting your life back on track isn't yeah it, so. potentially if you guys know more do let us know in the comments because we've got a lot of questions mm. haven't we and uh, i think we're all going to react to a state prison there's a video on our list which i think is like america's toughest max prison or something isn't it uh, so i so bet we'll, they ain't making curry in there yeah they probably ain't making curry <laughs> in that one and i imagine that is illegal but it'd be interesting to know whether they are allowed to cook it in the dorm or if that's what they're sneakily doing yeah that's what i mean like i'd wonder if they're actually allowed to go in the kitchen and, and cook an actual cook meal it. yeah let us know in the comments if you know this meal was one of the best things i ate in prison i still think back about how good it was to this day and to give you a more low-key example, something that I would personally do if I was eating out of my locker, it's called, instead of out of the chow hall when I skip these meals, I would be going to my bunk and making a tuna sandwich, maybe a peanut butter sandwich, making a, maybe a bowl of rice with some vegetables and some tuna in it. Uh, I was getting vegetables on the side through a meal plan that people were getting it from the kitchen on the side and then dropping it off to my bed so I'd have some sometimes See, carrots, sneaky. bananas, mm -hmm. Uh, whatever vegetables happened to come through that there was extra of, I was paying someone on a plan to hook some of those up. So I was trying to eat as healthy as possible. It's tough to eat uh, healthy in prison. There's just not that many nutrients floating around. All options. Um, a lot of people look at this list and go, man, that, that food sounds good. Well, uh, it's not. <laughs> I can tell you by outside standards, it's not. It's probably lower than the quality of fast food because of the age of most of it. Um, sometimes it tastes good. The real problem with prison is the nutrients. You're just not getting a balanced diet. No way, which way you spin it, unless you are on a really good meal pan through the kitchen and you're crushing vegetables, um, which is tough to do, but some people figure out ways. If you or a family member is going to federal prison, I'm making these videos for you. Oh, we'll leave it there. Go and check this channel out in the description. Um, it kind of puts it towards people who are going in, mm -hmm. but um, I enjoy just watching them just to find out about I just it. Quite like, I quite like prison documentaries. Definitely. Intrigued to see. Um, yeah, nosy is another one as well, yeah. isn't it? Um, so if you guys want us to check out more, let us know in the comments. But that prison food, we definitely wouldn't survive, would we? Oh, I only eat on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> only eat on Wednesdays. So we weren't planning on uh, doing any crimes anyway, but now there's now not even, just not not even, even a 0.0001% no. is there. Because I think we'd die. If it weren't from the people, it'd be from the food. Yeah, I, we just wouldn't cope in any aspect of prison. <laughs> Definitely not. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, guys, and have a fantastic day. Peace.